There's a couple other lines in here as well. Um, in this song, Conjure Up a Fire, about to play, and even throughout the album, there's a lot of kind of, I hate the word topicality, but there's things that are topical in it and relatable. Yeah. Um, last kind of thing that I heard like that was uh, Childish Gambino. Ah. He, he, you know, rapped about things that, you know, I knew about. Yeah, um, I mean, I think he's probably even more topical than myself. He's like Twitterati. You know what I mean? I, I, I love that guy. Like, I didn't get into his record um, as strongly as I get into all of his comedy and, and that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, he's, he's really interesting. But, yeah, I definitely tried to work, I guess my life into it and I use the internet and I, you know, I live in Sydney and all those things. So I tried to weed some of those sort of issues through it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, at the same time, I kind of wanted to do something that wasn't strictly in the moment, you know, like have a bit of balance because I think one of the main weaknesses in records that I don't love for a long time is that they are specifically very topical. EG, if you made a song about MySpace, that might have been really funny and great at the time in like 2000 and you know 8 2009 but now you know what's my space and the same often applies to to current political issues and that sort of stuff yeah imagine if you rapped about bebo yeah oh you'd, <clears throat> you'd be regretting that icq one. And yeah you put the little sample in the uh-oh. i reckon icq <laughs> That might be coming back in. Do you reckon? Yeah. Is your I think hot I think, tip from Chance Waters? Yeah, yeah. I think ICQ. That's sweet. It's got the little bird sound and everything. It's awesome. 